Hi everyone, in today's video, I will show you how to create a dynamic pivot table in Excel using a dynamic named range. This method ensures that your pivot table automatically updates when new rows or columns are added to your data set. In this example sheet, we have ticket number, date closed, MTTR and closer month and we want to create a dynamic pivot table so that after adding or removing new rows or columns, you don't need to adjust the data source of the pivot table. So let's start. First, we will create a dynamic named range using the offset function. This range will automatically adjust based on the number of rows and columns in your data set. Go to the formulas tab, then click name manager option. In the name manager dialog box, click on new to create a new named range. In the new name dialog box, add a name in name field. In this example, I'm using name dynamic range. Now in the refers to field, we will enter a formula that defines our dynamic range. We will use the offset function combined with count A to make it dynamic. Type equals to offset, open bracket, select first heading cell A1, comma 0 for rows, comma 0 for columns, comma to make the height or number of rows dynamic, type count A open bracket, select column A, closing bracket for count A, comma. Now to make width or number of columns dynamic, type count A, open bracket, select row number 1, closing bracket for count A, closing bracket for offset function. Now in this formula, the offset function starts from A1, the top left corner of our data. The count A function counts the number of non-empty rows and columns. It makes sure that the range will adjust as our data grows. Click OK button, click close button. Now we will use this named range as the source for our pivot table. Select any cell in the data, go to insert tab, click on pivot table, in pivot table from table or range dialog box, simply type the name of our dynamic range which you have created. Type dynamic range in the table range box and click OK. Drag the required fields in rows and values area and it will create the pivot table. Let's test this pivot table. Now I will add some new rows or columns or both in the data set right click on the pivot table and press refresh now as you can see the pivot table is automatically updated you don't need to change the data source of the pivot table so in this way you can create a dynamic pivot table using a dynamic named range this method saves time and ensure your analysis is always up to date if you found this tutorial helpful don't forget to like the video and subscribe the channel for more Excel tips. Thanks for watching.